Shelly here and today I've got for you a side-by-side -side comparison of the winner from my high-end mascara showdown the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir and it's going to be worn side-by-side -side all day long against the CoverGirl Supersizer Mascara and I'm gonna wear these all day I am on my way to the Wildlife Center to give some tours it's gonna be a long day I'm gonna be indoors outdoors I'm going to be animatedly telling stories to people so there will be lots of eye blinking I'm sure whatever that means and that's the plan. So we will see how these two wear side by side, how I feel like they compare on my eyes next to each other, which one I prefer, and at the end of the day, which one I like better and is it worth the money? Dun, dun, dun. So if you wanna see what I think of these two mascaras and see how they wear side by side, stick around. Here we go, I've got everything except mascara on my face and I am going to pit the Marc Jacobs against the Supersizer. This is my more challenging eye in terms of my lashes, so I'm gonna even give Supersizer the head start and put Marc Jacobs on the more challenging of my eyes, and this will go on this side, and we'll see how they do all day. As always, gonna curl the lashes. I have very uncooperative lashes, and so I try to do everything I can. Now, a lot of people will say, well, just wear waterproof mascara and that will definitely help your lashes to stay curled. But I only wear waterproof mascara these days when I am actually doing something that's going to involve the possibility of water on my eyes because waterproof mascara is quite a bit harder to wash off and I don't want any more wrinkles around my eyes. I don't want to rub my eyes any more than I absolutely have to. So. I'm just using non-waterproof mascara unless I need the waterproof functionality. And boy, didn't I just now get mascara all over my eyeshadow. Awesome! So, let's go to town with some mascara here. All right, Marc Jacobs, do your thing. All right, there is two coats of the Marc Jacobs. I just realized that if it looks completely ridiculous having these side by side, I'm gonna be giving tours for tons of people today and all right, maybe this wasn't the best idea to do this today, but you know. All right, Super Sizer. Okay, these do look a little silly next to each other, but that's okay. I'll be fine. I think first impressions wise, in terms of seeing them side by side, I do like that the Supersizer shows more individual lashes. I feel like I, I get more separation from the Supersizer, but overall I do really prefer the combination of the volume and length I get from the Marc Jacobs. I think my lashes look longer on the Marc Jacobs side. Let me zoom you guys in and show you what we're starting with here. So yeah, I'm gonna go about my day. I'll be back in a bit. I've really, I'm gonna be gone for about eight hours. I will try to check in at some point in between my tours today. I cannot promise that. It's gonna be a busy, busy day. But I will be back at the end of the day to see how these two wore side by side. Hey ho, check in time. It has been about five hours and we've got some pretty significant flaking on the Supersizer side. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let me see how close I can get the phone with it still focused. Can you see down on my cheek and under my eye here? Mm -hmm. No flaking that I can tell on the Marc Jacobs side, but that is where we're at at five hours. So mm, I'll check back in tonight when I get home. All right, it's been about 10 hours. And since the previous check-in, I've had a little bit more fallout, fallout, flaking on the Supersizer side. Not much more. I did clean up 
what had fallen before. So now I've really just got one pretty decent speck that has fallen on this side. I haven't had any flaking on the Marc Jacobs side. That said, that seems to be the only problem that is showing up on the drugstore side that I'm not getting on the high-end side. Everything else, if you like the look of the Super Sizer mascara, I think if you can handle the flaking and you're willing to check on it every so often and brush away any flakes that you get, it's probably just fine. My personal taste in what my lashes look like, I like the Marc Jacobs side a lot better. In fact, I like the top handful of high-end mascaras better than the best on the drugstore side. So I would wear the Urban Decay Perversion before I'd wear Super Sizer. I would wear the Charlotte Tilbury before I would wear Super Sizer. I'd probably wear the It Cosmetics Superhero before I would wear Super Sizer. In, in my world, I just haven't found a drugstore mascara that I like enough to wear it on its own merit. <laughs> Poet didn't know it. But I, you know what I'm saying? Like the, I wear it because I'm trying to keep my daily cost of makeup per day cost down. So I will reach for a drugstore mascara when I'm just like, ah, eh, you know, it's, I don't need it to wear all day. I don't need it to look fantastic, you know, or maybe I messed up my eye makeup anyway and I got to run out the door. So I might as well just use drugstore mascara because it doesn't look great to begin with. I mean, I know that's a probably not a very good sales pitch for any of the drugstore mascaras, but I have really difficult lashes and I have a hard time finding things that I like. So I usually go high end between these two. I would definitely go with the Marc Jacobs. Of my drugstore mascaras, I'm going to reach for this probably more often than most of my other drugstore mascaras. So, I mean, to that end, that's that. I, I do think that both sides held what little curl they did hold equally. I think they are equally comfortable. You know, they, they have the same sort of <laughs> crunchy crispness to the lashes, but they don't feel overly heavy. So, I mean, there's, there's enough good stuff to say about this that if you're, you're not concerned about the maintenance of making sure you don't have flakes all over your face, it, it, it's okay. It's okay. I'll wear it. It's just my preference is on the high end. So that is your side-by-side -side comparison of the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir and the CoverGirl Super Sizer. And I would personally pick the Marc Jacobs, but I would say this is a, a pretty decent contender considering the price difference. If you can handle the flaking, that's really the only thing that bothered me throughout this trial. So there you have it. I hope you found this useful. If you'd like to see more of these side-by-side, -side, you know, battle comparisons, give me a thumbs up below. That will indicate to me that I should make some more of these. Or if you just enjoyed this one, I definitely appreciate your thumbs up and your subscription and your time for sitting and hanging out and geeking out over makeup with me. Thanks a lot and take care of each other. Have yourselves an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Good night. Bye-bye.